body bags were whore lies. Who is this irresistible creature who has an insatiable love for the dead? Hey guys, welcome to week 17 of Body Bags. Happy Thursday everybody, this is your Vibe Chick speaking. And happy Boxing Day everybody! Oh my god, I hope you had a great Christmas. I had a seriously super Christmas. This thing was filled with new DVDs. I shall be doing a DVD haul video at some point very soon because holy shit I got a lot. Okay, so it's Christmas week as you know and my choice is the 2005 horror movie Santa Slay. Now, I don't have the box. I'm definitely going to be buying it though. Um, I can't, I don't quite know how to explain this movie. Um, Bill Goldberg, the wrestler, plays Santa and the basic premise of the whole origins of Santa, I guess, is that Santa is the son of Satan. He was born um, of a virgin birth like Jesus and he's basically just like an antichrist and he goes around every 25th of December and kills a shitload of people because he's freaking evil. Um, except an angel in the year 1005 decides to challenge him to a curling match and if he wins he has to be good every year and give kids presents and all that jazz and if he loses then the angel has to go to hell. Basically the angel wins and for a thousand years he has to be really really good, give everybody presents and just be the Santa that we know and love. It is 2005 and the bet is off. So now Santa is back for awesome bloody revenge. Um, we follow two generic kids I guess. You know teenagers who are clearly 25 when they should be 16. Uh, Nicholas Yulson, awesome name is our main guy and his on-off girlfriend, uh, Mac, they basically have a few dealings with a couple of people around town, they work in a local deli, and Nicholas's grandfather is the well-known crazy old guy who hates Christmas, he hates everything about it. We later find out that this is to do with the whole fact that he knows that Satan, uh, Satan that Santa is actually Satan's son, so of course he hates Christmas, he's not going to idolise a guy that's flipping evil. Um, this film is really kind of, it's so funny but not in a totally goofy way. I mean there's some stupid things in this movie. There's a bunch of silly Christmas kills, you know, with candy canes and lights and all that kind of crap. Um, I mean th there's a few one-liners here and there, I don't really want to give them all away because it's not like Santa says too much in the movie. Uh, the opening of the movie should pretty much tell you everything you need to know. If you're not hooked on this movie by the opening with the family eating Christmas dinner or Christmas Eve, Santa comes in, wreaks bloody havoc. If you don't like it after that then you probably shouldn't watch the rest of the movie because in the first five minutes it is the most epic Christmas movie of all time. Oh my god I love this film so much. Um, pros of this movie I thought the plot was great. I thought the origin of Santa was pretty cool, you know, the fact that they explained why he was evil. Um, I think Bill Goldberg's uh, performance as Santa in this was hilarious and he did a really, really good job of being a complete badass. Um, the cons of this movie, at times they took the goofiness a bit too far but not too much. Um, the acting was okay, although the Nicholas Yulson kid really started to get on my nerves after a while. He was just a bit of a wimp. You know how some kind of, sometimes they're like a wimp and then they get really good? He was a wimp throughout. Yeah, uh, my favourite line in some movie, there are a few, but I've got to pick the one near the beginning of the movie before it all kicks off. There's an old lady in the deli and she's just being a bitch. So she says to the guy, <laughs> She says, oh, I want this sandwich, and he's like, oh, okay, here you go, sandwich. He goes, happy holidays. She goes, don't give me all that political correctness crap. It's Christmas. Wish me a Merry Christmas. He goes, okay, Merry Christmas. Thank you. Now go fuck yourself. <laughs> oh, that old lady was awesome. Yeah, okay. Um, I don't really have too much else to say because, like I said, it's just a rip-roaring adventure of Santa bloody revenge havoc awesome supernatural goofiness. Yeah, go give it a watch if you're up for a good old Christmas movie, something a bit light-hearted, not too bloody bloody blah, I don't know what I'm talking about. 
Okay, I will see you next week. No idea what I'm reviewing, but oh my god, I've got a lot to choose from. <laughs> Hope you had a Merry Christmas. Bye.